Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Saturday Morning Collectibles. Today I have a toy unboxing and toy review of the Neutrinos by NECA. Alright, first off, let me address the elephant in the room. No, I did not get cloned and replaced by another Saturday Morning Collectibles. I decided to shave my face want to do something a little bit different so uh yeah let me know what you guys think do you guys miss seeing the beard or you guys you guys like the the clean shaven saturday morning collectibles i don't know how to feel about it, to be honest with you i didn't i forgot what i looked like from here down without facial hair so it was a little alarming when i first did it i had my kids actually help shave with me so that they wouldn't be frightened thinking that their daddy got replaced by somebody else uh, but yeah, anyway, so um, I'm so excited to finally have this set in. You know, growing up, watching Ninja Turtles, if you guys watched at any of it at all in the early, or the late 80s in the early series, you guys, these guys were early on in the first season. So you, you have to remember who the neutrinos are, you know, how they came from the Dimension, Dimension X, how they quickly aligned with the turtles, and all throughout that series, they were synonymous with Dimension X and partnering with the Turtles, and they made quite a few appearances as well. But yeah, so I finally got this in the mail. I ordered it back in Q1 from NECA, and you know it was a pre-order. As soon as I saw that, I knew that I had to give it or, or had to get it. Um, let's let's get into it. All right, like always, first thing I want to do is review the box and the box art. Looks great. As always, um, what I do want to specifically mention, though, on the front, is an artist by the name of Aaron Hazuri. Sorry, Aaron, if I, if you're watching this video, sorry if I just butchered your last name, but man, this guy does such awesome work. I have a piece of his art as a centerpiece of my entire turtle collection wall. Yeah, so Aaron did the art for for this box for the neutrinos. He did a great job as always. I love his art. Real quick plug for Aaron. I'll link his website in the description. And if you guys get a chance, please go on his website. Look at his art, very reasonably priced. And he adds such a cool little touch when he mails out his art to you. He puts them in the cardboard protectors, obviously the mailers, but he draws, he does a personal drawing on each of them. So this was one I ordered, um, the Last Ronin, it's got the collaboration between multiple artists on it, and Aaron had a little piece of it. And just to show you what I'm talking about on The Last Ronin, it came in this for the bag and board. So he drew Slash. Great job. He always has such a nice personal touch on this. And then this is the, the specific piece he did on The Last Ronin. So he signed and dated it for me. Uh, okay, so let's get into what's in this box and I'll start out by just saying holy cow uh, NECA knocked it out of the park with this um, I didn't expect to get all of this this is probably one of my just first first reactions one of my favorite boxes that NECA's, NECA's done as far as um, quality detail and just all the accessories you're getting here so I'm gonna start let's see where do we even start with this uh, let's start with the neutrinos. Um, so a little bit of history. I'm going to try to go through some history with this. I usually don't do that, and I probably should start um, where these guys show up actually in the cartoon. But the neutrinos show, show up very, very, very early on. Season 1, Episode 4, and the episode's titled Hot Rotting Teenagers from Dim Dimension X. So if you guys are looking for that specific episode where these guys first show up, check that one out. Um, here we have... Zach. I'll go in a little more detail here, here in a second on my thoughts on the figures themselves. We have Dask, who is the leader of this group, and we have Kayla, which is Mikey's girlfriend. And these guys can be found in that first episode, cruising around in their Star Cruiser, the the old '50s, '60s styles automobile that uh, we always think of when we think of. Uh, the neutrinos from Dimension Hex, but all right. So let's first look at Dask, and again, this I love the attention to detail. NECA did such a good job with this one. You know, even when watching 
the show in the late '80s. One thing that always stuck out about or stuck out to me about the neutrino neutrinos was their crazy stylistic, futuristic, whatever you want to call it, clothes and hair. Um, look at Dask. I mean, this thing stretches out half past his, his face and head, ears, crazy looking. Um, so yeah, the attention to detail on this guy is extremely good. I mean, there's a little bit of paint blemishes on here, but nothing's perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. First thing I will say with any of these three is they're probably the smallest figures NECA has done. So be extremely careful moving them around because just, again, first impressions, I could see these things breaking off easily if you're not careful. I'm not going to stress test them to, to try to prove that theory, but don't do it. Um, all right, so head is on a swivel. Good movement in the head. The arms, the shoulders, I'm sure, go up and down. This guy, he's not twisting for some reason. The arm, the arm does not twist, but it does go backwards and forwards. I can see the joint right there. Again, it's very small. The arm itself is extremely small. Uh, the hands will come out, but again, they're extremely small. We do have the abdominal joint here. Uh, we have the ball joints at the hips and the knees. Let's just see how... I'm telling you, this makes me nervous. I saw a little bit of paint flake off there, which is, again, okay, it's normal for these, for these figures. Um, the shoes, there's a little ball joint there. Ooh, okay. Yeah, be careful. Okay, guys, be careful. Uh, but yeah, this guy looks good. That was Dask. Let's look at Zach. <laughs> Love his facial expression. I can hear their voices in my head now. Again, if you guys watched this episode enough, you know, oh man, a lot of blem paint blemishes on the top of his head. Yikes. Well, I guess it's a good thing I'm, you know, you're never going to be looking back there. But still, I wish uh, you wouldn't have seen that. Uh, obviously, same head joint, abdominal, hip, knee, ankle. What I'm looking at, though, is the... Okay, I can't tell. It looks like there's a shoulder joint there, but I'm not going to force it because I can't really tell. And, okay, yep, there is. It's going to take some moving around and working through all the, the st stuck joints here. I'll do that off camera. But uh, <laughs> the theme for this is, you know, if I could say anything, it's be careful. Okay. All right, I like Zach. He's probably the most memorable one for me. Him or, or Kayla, I would say. Kayla, she looks great. Facial expression, or lack thereof, but I, I think that's what I remember her facial expression being mostly in the in the episodes. But yeah, so this one I've already worked through a little bit, um, but we have same deal, head swivel, shoulder, we got the elbow, hands, Again, the, the connection between the top of the arm and the shoulder does not move. This right here that I'm pointing out, it does not move. Don't try it. Uh, we got the abdominal movement there. We got the hip, knee. Her shoes are probably the smallest of the three. Don't move them unless you have to. <laughs> I'm just so afraid of breaking these because I know they're going to be, they're so hard to get already. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about getting another one. But that's the three, yeah, I can see the, the paint down here already, that kind of knocked off. But hey, you know, that's normal. They started doing different type of paint on, uh, I can't remember, I think it was around the Triceratons when they came out. But uh, yeah, it's usually pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go from least exciting to most exciting accessories here. So let's go with the hands. The hands are going to be the same pretty much for all of them. And they are so small, I'm trying to drop any. But we got um, closed fist. 
We have a little bit of an open hand to grab something, one of the accessories, and an open hand. Uh, we got one, I wish we had more than these, but we got one peace sign. thought that's pretty cool. And of course, I'm not going to show all the hands, but uh, other than the peace sign, we get the you get the same hands for all of them. Um, now this one only comes with Dask, although I could move them around if I wanted to. But it's got uh, a little bit of different type of open hand. Same there. Um, open hands for Zach and Kayla different type of open hands. But these are interchangeable if you wanted to. Alright, you guys are going to have to help me out with these. I tried looking them up. Um, it's late when I'm video when I'm making this, so I didn't have time to, to find these, what they were. But just, if you know them off the top of your head, leave, leave them in a comment. This, I believe, because I watched this episode recently, um, I think this is for Grippix. This little fellow, which I'll walk over here in a second. I think this is to capture him in. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Um, we have this ray gun type of thing. This box, which might also be used to capture something in. I can't remember exactly. It sets up like this. There's a little bit of paint blemish right there. We have this device and this device. This might be how they found Grippix. Again, I can't remember. Um, let me know. It's, it's so hard. <laughs> There's so many episodes from the Ninja Turtles. It's hard to remember every little detail. Um, but yeah, if you guys um, will find, if you guys find it before I do, make sure to leave a note in the comments. Um, I think one of the cool things we have for the neutrinos is we have their little skateboards, their hoverboards that they have. So this is Zax, this is Dask, and this is Kayla's. Cool thing is they fit on these and NECA was not nice enough to provide three of these stands for us for dynamic posing. Oh, also we have these, we have three of these stands because these guys are so small and light, they I don't think there's any way to stand them up without a stand. So NECA gave these to us as part of the, um, the box. We have a little Princess Tribble. I kind of remember this little baby. Um, this came, so this was from episode six of season four titled episode was four turtles and a baby I think the head the moves I can look up and see that there's a ball joint up there no need to force it again because it looks fine just like it is just set her down next to the tree nose would be fine um, looks like the arms move too I see the joints there to move them and then last this guy's part of my favorite one because <laughs> uh, I love this episode I watched it recently but it's from season three, episode forty-one, just called the Grippix, and this is Kayla's pet that somehow gets through the, the Dimension X portal into New York City, and the neutrinos are really trying to find this guy because if you remember, he once he eats, the more he eats, the bigger he gets, and on my Instagram account, I put a photo of what the Grippix looks like once he's like this huge monster. And I think that if NECA wanted to do that as um, an ultimate figure, one of the VH style boxes, oh, I would be so all over that. What a cool figure that would be. It'd be right up there with um, the Pizza Monster and Chrome Dome and Rex One once we get him. Um, but yeah, for now, we got Baby Grippix. Awesome detail on this guy is just fantastic. Yeah, I'm thinking just by looking over this and walking through everything with you, this is one of my favorite sets that NECA has done and provided to us. You know, we get 
three uh, figures in one. We have a ton of accessories. They, they gave us stands. They gave us hoverboards for each of them. They gave us cool little add-ons like the Grippix and, and the Princess Baby. Um, so NECA, great job. Um, I love this. This has a good shot of making my top 10 of the year. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that toy unboxing and review. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel out. And if you guys are looking for any current uh, toy collectibles, uh, obviously beyond NECA's uh, Team and 2 cartoon line, because that is an exclusive to Target. Uh, but for anything else, please make sure to check out Entertainment Earth. I'll put in a link down in the description. Uh, going through that link to buy anything from Entertainment Earth, uh, really, it actually helps my channel out and helps me be able to get new toys and collectibles to review for you guys. So uh, please do that for me, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.